the guy goes around it means let him by do not close him properly on the heating side and we can replace the diverter valve yeah one thing you can do is when you turn the hot water tap on while there's no heating if you touch the flow pipe the flow pipe get hot it shouldn't but it does because the diverter well is leaking to replace a diverter well on a ecotech well in ecotech boiler first shut off the flow and return valves which are these ones that's the off position i shut it off with a allen key i think it's four mil so that's on the off position and that's the return pipe off position and then number seven spanner open that and i'm using little holes to drain it and drain the heating circuit primary circuit and then you will see the pressure goes to zero and then once all the pressure is gone um, you might have to wait until the if the expansion vessel has water in it you might have to wait for it so once everything is clear you open the three screws which were let me get the old valve. Well, that was the old valve. The water valve, which was, which was like that. So I have to remove three screws, which are these ones. Remember to loosen one, then tighten that, loosen the other one, tighten that, loosen the other one. Then you take all the three screws out. And then this was only with the pump. I have to pull it out. And this pipe was going like that. I have to remove the compression fitting here. And Yeah, and there was a yeah, compression fitting and a holding knot right there. So I had to remove that. And then pull this one out. And then take the old diverter valve out just shake it a little bit don't put anything here and lever it it might damage the pump base so just take it easy when you're taking it out once you take this out as you can see on the new pack we got these seals so this has to be replaced. Yeah. And clean, clean this area properly. And use tiny bit of silicon just to keep it, you know, hold in there because it's vertical otherwise it's gonna fall off then use these two seals one goes here just look at the old one and you will see where the seal is yeah, it's difficult to put it with one hand so the old one so the old seal one seal there 
and the other seal goes to the pipe. Replace this one, the seal, the o ring, and put it back and tighten it on the reverse. You can see I put a tiny bit of silicon in there and put, push the seal in there and clean the silicon as much as I can. Like here. Yeah. And it's ready for me to show you what about it. So push it gently. Need both hands. Yeah, I'll install the new diameter out. So I'm going to shut the two pin points. So this one. Yeah, Open the floor and return. That's the return. Open. Open. And pressurize the boiler and crunch just it. Open that, open that, and see the pressure going up. Get it over 1.4. Yeah, close it quickly. Close. 